Welcome to the Orange County Real Estate Market Update for December of 2023. And if we haven't met, my name is Nathan Nekashea. I'm a realtor here in Orange County. All right, so we're going to get started with some of the market trends, the key details to see where we're at here in Orange County to start off December. All right, we are still squarely in a seller's market, and that's based on the fact that we have less than a month and a half of inventory. Now, you may already know this, but what that means is that if no new listings come onto the market, all the homes in Orange County would be sold in less than a month and a half. The next key detail that we wanna jump into is the list to sold price percentage. And sellers are still getting a hundred, slightly over, but a hundred percent of their asking price. What that is telling us is that sellers are pricing their homes more appropriately. And obviously there are still buyers out there looking to pay an appropriate price, not overpay, but an appropriate price for a home that they love. Okay, of the homes that sold, they spent a median not an average, a median of 13 days on the market. And the median sold price of those homes was $1,130,000. That's just about a three and a quarter percent, or excuse me, three and three quarter percent uh, increase month over month. Now we're gonna dive into the new listings. Uh, 1,615 new properties hit the market in Orange County. That is down about 14 and a half percent month over month but that is pretty consistent with the seasonality. Um, we tend to see new listings begin to decline from November, December, and then and even partially into January. What I'm curious about is with interest rates starting to, to trend downward, I'm curious to see if at what percentage rate that it, it's, it will make more sense for sellers to get into the market if they've been waiting for a particular rate to allow them to either move up or move down. And then we're gonna jump into active listings. There were, at the end of uh, November, there was 2,244 homes available for sale in Orange County. Of those homes remaining for sale, uh, they have been on the market for a median of about 43 days. And then we're gonna jump into the new pending listings. So in November, we had 1,303 homes go into a pending status in the month of November. And of the homes that went into a new pending status, they had spent a median of 17 days on the market. And then we're gonna hit the pending listings. Now, the difference between new pending and pending is the new pending listings are the listings that entered a pending status in November. Pending listings are all homes that remained in a pending status at the end of November. So at the end of November, we had 1,497 homes in a pending status. That is down about seven and a half percent. Again, that it does seem to coincide with the seasonality, just the time of year, and it is the typical seasonal trend. And sold listings, so what sold in Orange County? Well, we had 1,345 homes close escrow it in November. That is down about 13.5% month over month. All right, so that is November in a nutshell in Orange County. What do you think about the housing market? I, personally, I think that we're actually doing better than expected. Um, I, as rates come down, I do think we're gonna see some activity picking up. I think that the people who have a motivation or a desire or need or a want to move now or to buy or sell now, I do think that there's a unique opportunity with it trending that uh, home sellers are pricing their homes more appropriately. And this goes to highlight the importance of pricing your home appropriately. The homes that are selling, the homes that are going into a pending status, they're spending about two weeks on, on it as a median on the market. And there's really only a couple of things that can have an effect on that. Price and marketing and buyer demand. Price your home right, make sure everybody in... <coughs> So price your home right, make sure everybody and their brother knows it. And if you're a buyer, take a look at these homes that have been sitting a little bit longer on the market. You might be able to find an opportunity there. All right, those are just my thoughts. I would love to hear yours. Leave me a comment or a question down below. 
If you liked the video, please like the video. If you would like to subscribe, please subscribe. And if you'd like to talk to me about this report or a particular city or market in Orange County, uh, you can find my contact information in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time.